What is up everybody and I'm Peter. This is Infinity Digital and as promised we're going to be taking another look at the Mavic Air. It's no doubt that the Mavic Air is one sexy slice of flying plastic and tonight we're going to be specifically checking out her butt. And by that of course I mean what's underneath this little flap here. As we've pointed out before, we have a USB-C slot and a micro SD card slot. I have to admit, the USB-C slot had me a little intrigued because I started thinking, hey, is there finally USB charging on this thing? Because of course, yes, that would be incredibly awesome because that means you could charge the Mavic Air in your car using a 12 volt USB charger, or you could also charge it using possibly a booster battery like this out in the middle of nowhere in the field. So yes, of course, there is only one way to find out. And yeah, I know this battery's pink. I stole it from my girlfriend. So you can see here, my battery is about 75%. I'm gonna plug in the booster battery and see what happens. And unfortunately, not a damn thing. So of course that means you're going to have to totally remove the battery from the drone and plug it either into the 120 volt wall charger or the 12 volt car charger, which unless you bought the Flymore package, you're going to have to buy separately. Bummer. So what the heck is this USB port for? Well, you might recall that the Mavic Air comes equipped with eight gigabytes of onboard storage. Not a lot, but it can save your bacon if you forgot your card at home and you need to grab just a couple of shots. Of course, it's going to fill up pretty quick using 4K. But of course, since that memory is totally on board, it is not removable in the form of an SD card. So the only way to get that data off of the drone is by plugging it directly into your computer using said USB-C cable. So upon plugging it into your computer, you're going to need to turn the drone on actually in order to read any data from it. However, once you do that, you can read the data not only off the internal storage, but the SD card without having to remove it from your computer. From there, of course, you can also drag and drop that data onto a hard drive of your computer so that you can easily access it later. I like to use a USB 3.0 solid state and put all of my flight videos on so that I can easily and quickly transport them back and forth for editing purposes. So now we move on to the other port in the back of the drone under that flap there, and that's the micro SD card slot. And that kind of seems like a pretty simple thing because of course micro SD is now pretty much standard on just about everything. But there is something important to note before you go running out to your local store and buy the cheapest, crappiest micro USB card you can possibly find, you need to know something. Drones like the Mavic Pro can record 4K video at 30 frames per second at 60 megabits per second. And that's kind of fast. And if you buy a real cheap and slow card, you're going to have trouble. You need to make sure you need to buy a card that's fast enough for those data speeds. Trust me, it does make a difference. However, the Mavic Air can shoot 4K video 30 frames per second at 100 megabits per second. So that's even more information. So you're going to need an even faster card. I totally recommend this, the SanDisk Extreme A1 card. You can buy it on Amazon for still a pretty reasonable price. It's plenty fast enough. It worked flawlessly in my tests. So if you're interested in buying any of these cards or an external SSD drive like I recommended, check the product links down below for the ones that I recommend. You'll get it at the same amazing low price on Amazon and you also give me a little nudge for clicking on my links. Yes, this was a nice, short, sweet little video and I didn't have to step outside in the rain right now, but if you found any of it useful, please mash the old thumbs up button. If you like what you see and wanna see more of it, go ahead and feel free to subscribe to my channel because I've got tons of more videos coming all the time, especially on the Mavic Air. Thank you for watching. Have yourself an amazing day and we'll see you guys real soon.